We begin the bulletin tonight with a breakthrough by detectives in busting a syndicate of exam malpractices in the country. Well, after a week-long cases of exam cheating in different parts of the country, a probe by DCI detectives arrested four masterminds behind exam leakage in the country. The suspects, who include university and college students, are said to be operating a syndicate that is selling examination papers to candidates or, in some cases, sell answers at higher prices. The Ministry of Education has admitted that some papers were exposed early. Mm. Investigations into alleged examination malpractices was launched a week ago by detectives attached to the Kenya National Examinations Council. The probe targeted a syndicate which for the last five years has been accessing examination materials hours before the start time when the container is opened. Investigations zeroed in on the main suspect, Gideon Tanui, an information technology student at Baringo Technical College, who was allegedly selling examination papers at 500 shillings per paper. Tanui is said to be a member of two fraudulent examination telegram groups with over 17,000 followers. Tanui was arrested on March 15th while administering English Paper 2 to students of Silibuit and Sitoito Secondary Schools in Molo via his WhatsApp group with a following of 70 members. He was also in possession of the previous day's chemistry paper one. At the time of his arrest, the IT student had over 10,000 shillings in his m account and was also operating a separate KCB account where he transferred the received cash from his m to avoid reversals. To conceal his identity, Tanui's SIM card was registered under the name Ivan Skiprono. Tanui led detectives to another suspect, Kevin Langat, a student at Rongo University, who was arrested on Thursday. Tanui had shared the English paper with Langat, who was a member of a telegram group dubbed Kale Group, created under the name Bailing Out. Langat led detectives to yet another culprit, Justice Letting, who is also a student at Rongo University. Letting was arrested while distributing the Kiswahili paper and preparing answers for the chemistry practical paper. Detectives close to investigations have intimated to Citizen TV that suspects have confessed to have obtained the papers in Nandi Hills where they have been colluding with exam officials to take photos of the afternoon papers when the container is opened. The papers are later sold on Telegram and WhatsApp subgroups to willing school heads and students. It is very, very easy to compromise uh our people inside the examination hall if students are holding large amounts of money. I've also asked the police to watch and check the center managers who carry hundreds of thousands of shillings in cash during the examination process. They should actually handcuff such uh, teachers immediately. While welcoming the arrest of the masterminds behind examination early exposure scheme, Professor Magoha outlined new measures aimed at further sealing the loopholes. Under the new measures, all school gates must be kept wide open throughout examination hours. Security officers must sit at positions they have full view of examination materials. Supervisors and invigilators must not take any time off from examination rooms. No teachers, except those handling practical subjects, will be allowed into school compound. Mobile phones banned from examination centers, except one for center manager. Detectives are camping in Nandi Hills in pursuit of the masterminds.